Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at the new El Key Oracle deck by Melanie Delon or Delon, D-E-L-O-N. I'm not sure how she pronounced it. Melanie Delon or Delon and Arwen Lynch Poe. It is published by U.S. Games. It is in a two-part card case box. Here's the front, as you saw, the side, the top, the back, the other side. There is a cutout thumb hole. And the artwork, Melanie did the artwork, and the guidebook is by Arwen Lynch Poe. And Alki means she who in French. And there's 44 cards, 44 magnificent female warriors and women of great compassion and wisdom. After experiencing everything from fear to freedom and hardship to hope, they now share all their powerful life lessons with you. Each card presents someone who will challenge and inspire you in unique ways. El Key Oracle will help you discover layers of forgotten selves and new insights. Includes 44 cards and 80 page guidebook. And it's just new it's just new newly released, so it's 20, 2019. Two part box, pretty blue inside, bluish purple, more like a periwinkle. The guidebook is on top. Cards are underneath. So here's another look. Very pretty. Front cover of the guidebook. Back. This is a hard cover. El key. There's acknowledgement, introduction, and then the cards themselves. And it's in alphabetical order, so it has the name of the card. And then it has a couple of different questions. In the last two pages, they have a little paragraph about the artist and a paragraph about the author. Card spread notes. And then they also give you a couple of different spreads. The messenger spread, exploring self spread. So card spread section. Okay, so that's the guidebook. And the card backs are beautiful. Beautiful card backs. Look at this back. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. Very nice. They are not gilded though. Which is fine with me. And size wise, comparing it to a Rider Weight tarot card, they are a little taller by that much and a little wider. Taller and wider. But they're still manageable size for petite hands. They're not as big as like a angel this is hay house angel so actually the hay house angel oracle card is is wider but lengthwise is about the same or the l key is a little taller a smidge taller but not as wide so that gives you an idea as far as size wise now let's take a look at the cards. They are in alphabetical order. Aben, Aben no Lanka, she who battles justice, fierce commitment. I don't think I'm gonna read them all. Let's see, there's the glare. Is that better? Can we zoom in a little? All right. Let's 
What is this? Eterna. These cars are beautiful. These names, I, I wonder if they're all French names. They're very unusual, Blanche. Blue, that one I can pronounce. <laughs> and they're borderless except for the bottom where it has the name, so that's nice. She who surprises, Brise, surprise, discovery, revelation. Beautiful. Carly. Colette. I love that amethyst on her third eye. Con Concia or Concia. Desiree. At clock. Elixir. Enid or Enid. Estefania. Futura, future choice judgment. Geneva. These are beautiful, Hannah. Understanding, witness, compassion, she who listens. Iris. Isra, Jenna, Jocelyn, Kamala, what is Kamala? Enlightenment, mindfulness, rise up, she who emerges. Makta, oh, Makia. Maki, Ma, Makita, Makita. Trying to read upside down. Observe, perceive, scrutinize. Makita, that's pretty. Menera, she who waits, patience, waiting, determination. Must be the divine feminine, ha ha joke. <laughs> twin flame joke. I just did a twin flame reading. So it's on the brain. She who remains, Manatili, Manatili, powerful devotion, true worth. All right. Mapula, new path, guy, renewal. She who guides, beautiful. Mora, pow, ponder, delay, confidence. She who hesitates. Nemesis, revenge, outcomes, justice, she who avenges. Wow, look at that face. She's serious. I love the purple, though. Wow. The colors are beautiful. Orchid, flourish, prosper, blossom, she who thrives. Look at her eye makeup. Wow, look at Pearl, empower, uplift, elevate, she who rises up. Perpetua. Primavera, launch, actualize, potential. Renee, 
love, hope, relationships, she who hopes. Regina, leadership, provocation, power, she who ins instigates. Wow, look at that snake. Salvage, untamed, wild, mysterious, she who is wild. Shiala, creativity, originality, spontaneity, she who creates. Tiraz, now awareness, acceptance, she who is present. She who stands, Valencia, resolute, resolute impeccable, determined. Voltage. She who flies. Dare do reach. Voltage. She who knows. Yelena. Wisdom, clarity, resolution. Oh, she looks so sophisticated. And last but not least, she who prepares. Zenith. Formulate, strategize, devise. A warrior. All right, so let's see how they shuffle. All clear the deck. Shuffle nice. They are oh the cardstock, as you can hear and see, they are they are nice cardstock. They're flexible, but they're on the hard side. So that's why I couldn't bridge, but with some breaking in, yep, you can bridge. So you can riffle shuffle with this deck if you want to. Overhand shuffle is easy. What is this card that flipped it over? Yelena, Wisdom, Clarity, Resolution. Let's pick a card. All right. This card. Estefania. Estefania. Chains, Bondage, Release. She Who Surrenders. And let's look her up. S. Estefania. She who surrenders, Estefania. Estefania, she who surrenders, rereads an old letter from someone who hurt her long ago, clutching the response to her breast. She allows herself to be overcome by the agony yet again. Her bower has become her prison. Iron shackles bind her in this spot, wrapped around her. This black cable weighs her down. What she hasn't realized yet is that the chains are of her own making. By holding on to regret, anger, or fear, she has forged heavy links tying her to her past. No one can release her save herself. And save herself is what she must do. To do that, she must let go of the past. The lesson of this card is that when we surrender to the losses of the past, we strangle ourselves with sorrow. It reminds us that when we let the ropes of past hurts turn into anchors, they only hold us back. Your task is to carefully review things from the past. If they cause you pain, you must let them go. It's like a paper cut that won't heal because you keep touching it. Put the past in the past where it belongs. Breaking this chain of misery will not be easy, but you've been given the chance to start anew. 
Don't let misery detain you from your amazing life. Am I surrendering to old pain or releasing it? If I could write a letter to one person who hurt me, what would I say? Which chain link can I break today? So that gives you an idea of the guidebook. Okay, guys, this that wraps up this review. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.